a Dream Studio Beta. Um, and the default is Dream Distant Galaxy. I'm going to go ahead and throw in one I've created here. So as you can see, um, a lot of modifiers on here. Um, but it's a Trader Vic's Tiki Mug in the style of Iron Man at a beach bar. And uh, they're now calling these modifiers prompt enhancers or phrase vitamins in the industry. I will continue to call them just modifiers. You add them to your prompt. And the prompt is really um, important. As you can see over here, we've got a lot of parameters now that we can modify without having to actually um, add the, the dash command, the arguments to the, the prompt. So steps, I like to keep that at 50. These, this model is really optimized. I mean, 40 to 50, it just works. I mean, super photorealistic, maybe 70, 90, but 50 works and you're gonna be on the low end of the price scale there. CFD scale, that's something I'll show as we go. Um, it does actually matter. And then width and height, I mean, you're building stationary or logos or landscapes maybe, but it's really difficult because these models are trained on squares, like 512 by 512. So it's gonna be a doubling or splitting effect when you start going wire long and uh, it'll, yeah, like double up on the subject that you're trying to add to the scene. So, um, or the elements. So that, that's, that's difficult. Um, and then the one cool part down here is you can change the sampler, but I mean, just stick to the stick to the KLMS. That's state of the art. DDIM and PLMS were um, a few, you know, a few months ago, you know, because <laughs> we're we're moving so slow in this industry. <laughs> so uh, anyway, so we've got um, a bunch of options now in the dashboard. We have an account, you know, membership view. We can pay for credits and stuff. But let me show you how this works. So I'm dreaming. I'm asking for one image, and yeah, that's uh, not quite a Trader Vic's Tiki mug. Uh, let's let's pull out Beach Bar. Let's let's just, and that's the cool part of this this interface is we can really work fast. I'm not I'm not typing commands anymore, dealing with pe other people, you know, in the channel even though the community view is awesome you can see all the other people's prompts and it's great but wow so we've got pretty futuristic looking um i'll show you if we pull the cfg scale down we can uh we can redo that and you also notice down uh i uh all right there we go we are locked in the seed number here. That is interesting. So let's put the handle down like this. Let's throw it up to 11 and see what happens. And it really changed it. <clears throat> so as you can tell, it, you know, the CFG scale really alters how it's working through that space, but it's locked to that aesthetic or the, the shape, the overall shape that you're going for. So most people recommend that you start with the shape um, and you work your way through the different aesthetic as you go and then you try to adjust the prop down here. But, you know, to each artist their own, we all shall journey on and do this together. And I look forward to seeing all of your generations.